Welcome guys. So in this class, let's look at how to create a custom progress dialogue, right? This can actually come in handy when you want to have a different looking and cool progress dialogue, different from what we used to know before. But for the sake of this class, I'm going to just keep this very simple, right? Without much ado, let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is to create a new layout. I'm going to call this layout progress, all right? So I'm going to call this progress. Okay, so here I'm going to set our width to be wrap parent, wrap content rather, and the height also will be wrap content. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to set up our mean width. The next thing we need to do is to define our progress bar. So we're going to say progress bar. So we're going to assign some attributes to it. So android.id, this I'm going to call it loader. Yeah, this is very simple. I'm going to say android.layout margin end. Layout width, 45 dp. Layout height, 45 dp. Okay, it has finally showed up. The next thing we need to do will be to make this indeterminate. So I'm going to say Android dot indeterminate. So I'm going to set this to true. I want this round progress bar to always be rotating, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is to add a text view to this. Before that, let me just go ahead and add some padding to our linear layout so that there will be space at the at the edges. So this will actually be equal to 16 dp. As you can see, we now have some margins in between this. So let's go ahead and define a text view that will actually indicate what we are talking about. So to do this, I'm going to say text view Android dot layout with app content. <laughs> this is just the most generic. So our text size, I'm going to set it to 18. Okay, so let's continue. So I just hope you guys are following. I'm just doing this to see how fast I could go with it. Okay, so this would be bold and can to set the height. Okay, so we need to change this to horizontal. So it's just well laid out nicely. And also we can go ahead and add ID to this text view if we we'll always want to be possibly to switch in the value of what we display here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add an ID to it, right? So you guys can go ahead and explore this as well. So that's that. So let's go to our login activity and finish up with this. Okay. So I'm going to define a new alert dialog builder. All right. So I'm going to say Android dot support dot v seven dot app dot alert dialog dot builder. Okay. So I'm going to call this alert. The next thing we need to define will be our alert dialog. So guys, not to worry, I'm going to show us how these two work together. v 7 .app .alert dialog. So I'm going to call this alert dialog. Alright. So I'm going to create a new method. This method, I'm going to use it to be displaying our, our progress bar. Alright. So I'm going to call this show progress. So to do this, I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and add dialog to it. I'm going to say a lot. And I'm going to say a lot dot set view. So this is where we'll be using the layout file we just created, okay? So I'm going to say resource dot layout dot progress. So in this way, you have real control of everything 
in this layout file. So we're going to say alert dot set cancelable, and this is going to be false. So this means that our alert cannot just dismiss on its own. We actually have to cancel it intentionally ourselves. So the last thing will be to say alert dot show bam. So the next thing we need to do will be to create a new method that we will use to close our dialog. So we're going to call this close progress dialog. Okay. So before we go ahead and close our dialog, we first of all need to ensure that our alert builder is not null. So I'm going to say if alert is not equal to null. Then I'm going to say a lot dialog, a lot dialog that dismiss. Okay, then a lot dialog will equal to no, and a lot will also be equal to no. So this is a mistake. I'm supposed to have a lot dialog equal to alert dot show so guys we are all set up so the next thing we need to do will be to make use of our show progress dialog all right so by the time we click on login we want to start displaying our progress dialog so i'm going to say show progress dialog and on task completion listener i'm going to close our dialog Okay, and also when it's successful, I'm going to close it as well. So this is all we need to do. Let's go ahead and try this out and ensure that everything works perfectly. Boom. Okay, we are yet to change this, but we have to eventually change this to uber driver right but for now let's go ahead and quickly enter our login email and password if you guys remember what we used when we did our registration so i'm going to say mark at gmail.com and now enter our password So as you can see, our progress dialog is well displayed and is working just the way we want it, right? So you guys could actually add some more customizations to it depending on how you want yours to look. But this is quite very simple and straightforward, okay? So my login was successful. So guys, this is just how to create your own custom progress dialog, all right? Hope you enjoyed the class, so see you in the next one.